Do you want to add height to your table and not have to spend $40 to do it? In this video, I will show you how to make yours. And at the end, I will share a featured blooper. Hi, my name is Kim with Kimagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump into the materials that we will need for this project. So I went to Home Depot and I found I can do this project for under $10. And I can make two sets. So I actually made one for me and one for my mom for her table. The first you wanna do is measure your table. Then you want to see the height you would like your table to be and subtract the difference and that is actually going to be the inner smaller PVC pipe, the three quarter inch, because that's going to be the stability. So take that same measurement and I added about five inches so the leg won't easily fall out if I move the table around. Luckily, I have access to a chop saw, so I'm going to cut for four legs, 15 inches, which is the outer leg, and four 10 inch PVC pipes for the smaller pipe as the stability because I want my table 10 inches higher. When you're using a chop saw, you want to line the blade, the edge of the blade to the edge of the line because blades vary in width. It could be like an eighth and that will change your measurement when you cut. Always double check your cuts I was examining them right next to each other just to make sure that it was even. And don't forget all your safety gear, glasses, you can wear a dust mask, an apron, gloves if you really want to. <laughs> it's always better to be safe. Question of the day, where do you get your DIY supplies? Home Depot, Lowe's, or a local hardware store? Let me know in the comments below. And here are all your cuts. Now I also wanted to go a little step further and add an end cap just so nothing moves if I ever have to move the table around. It's a one inch end cap and it was only like 80 cents per cap. Now to just show you brief assembly. So you have your outer leg, you add your end cap and then your inner leg which is the main height difference you want for your table just slides inside. That is the structural support for the height and the outer one keeps everything together and slides right over the table leg. To stabilize the leg extension, you need to fill all the available space between the table leg and the one inch PVC. You just want to see where your outer table leg is going to sit and put the craft foam on the inside I'm using leftover craft interfacing, but you can also use craft foam or anything you really want to fill in the gap. And don't forget to test that the one inch PVC pipe fits over your filler piece before taping it down. And I liked using electrical tape because the fact that it's stretchy. So you just tape one half on where you want to put it, wrap the foam around, double check that your leg fits on top because you don't want to make it too little or too loose that it doesn't even work the way that you want it to be. So you're kind of almost creating a little bit of a seal to make sure that the table leg is snug. You can also do this either horizontally or vertically. As you can see, now that it's all done, when I pick it up, all the legs stay in place. And that's the whole point of making that filler piece. Here is the before and after. You can see how low the table sit compared to where the window was and now high it is also with the variance between the doorknob. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more DIYs and crafts and check out the blooper at the end. And I'll see you guys next week. Do you want to add... Sorry. So I'm going to cut five, I'm sorry.